Hi folks, it's Evo here from Thunderbus Lure Company and welcome to today's episode of Thunderbus Fishing Tips. You know when it comes to salt water, salt water fish taste fantastic and I think Antonio Tutog are one of the best out there. I would agree, they are very, very good. <laughs> they're, they're, if you can get a hold of some Tutog folks, they are excellent eating and Antonio is <laughs> going to give us a quick demonstration how e on how easy they are to clean. So I'm going to start first by cheeking it. Actually, I'm not going to lie, it's my first time cheeking a tutog. <laughs> so, <laughs> well, the cheeking method is the same for all it fish. It is, yeah. Right? It is. The important thing is to remove the cheek. So you want to kind of feel where the bones are. You can see it's, it's usually like a pocket. So you can run your knife along the pocket. And a lot of times it can actually peel right off the skin if we're lucky. Which it does. There you go. So there's one cheek. I usually cheek any fish first. So I'll do both sides. So you just run along the the socket there. There's a cheek socket. It's hard to describe, but when you're cleaning it, you can feel it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I was actually going to say that actually looks like a scallop. It kind of does. Yeah. <laughs> so we'll do the other side there. So that's done. All right. And these fish kind of have leathery skin, so I'm going to try to get through here. Just beside the gill plate there, behind the fin, down to the bottom there. So just one cut that way. And it's similar to any, most fish actually, like sea bass or, or all freshwater fish actually. It's, it's quite similar. You mean the bone structure? The bone structure and, and that cut there. So is, how does the bone run? That you got? So the backbone is kind of... It kind of runs straight up and the meat's on both sides and you've got rib cage here and rib cage there. That's, okay. that's really how it's lined up but since the skin is so thick I'm going to run my knife along the top to cut the skin. Looks like you got a nice sharp knife there too Antonio. Yeah, not bad and it's always good to cut away from you because <laughs> you never know it could slip. Uh. So I'm going to do that same thing on the other side just to show you again just cut that way in one motion. Keep the knife along the backbone, and I'm just cutting under the skin. I'm not cutting any flesh there. So and that that really kind of sets the stage to fillet. So I'm gonna run my knife <clears throat> along the the backbone there. You can hear the the bones, right? Yeah, I can hear that knife running right along the bone. So that's all I'm doing. I'm just going along that backbone, and what happens is there's the actual spine is kind of thick. So what happened, your knife will hit the spine and yeah. you gotta kinda go over it. So there's a little bit of a hump. Okay. So once you get over that, kinda do the back side of the spine. So you can see what I'm talking about there. There's the hump. Yeah. So I cut here, went over the hump, and then cut that way. And I could tell here there's no you're not wasting any meat no. at all. No. So it's it's all it's all in the fillet of the meat, which is what we want. And look at that fillet, oh my, that's a nice fillet. So I'm just running along the, the rib cage there. I'm going to turn it around just so it might be easier. Easier to handle? And easier to see. So I'm just kind of coming back towards the head. And then you just remove it just like that. Nice. And there is a two-tog fillet. Boneless. Boneless. So you can skin it, or actually we're going to leave the skin on this yeah. time because we're going to grill it. But uh, yeah. otherwise you would just take your knife and run it along the skin like that. To take and the skin off. Yeah. But that that's it. That's it in a nutshell. Okay. And then you do the, basically, and you just do the same thing on the other side. Exactly. All right. Well, that was a great demonstration. And uh, you know what we're going to do in the next episode? We're going to give Antonio to give us a demo on how he likes to barbecue and grill fish. He's got a good recipe and that's why he's leaving the skin on and we'll get to that in the next show. But uh, we're going to finish cleaning this fish and then we're going to put you to work and uh, we'll do an episode on how to barbecue, how to grill. How to marinate. Oh, you're going to marinate it too. I'm going to marinate it okay, too. Okay, there's a little tip there. But if you get an opportunity to tog, great eating fish. I can tell already that's a nice thick filet. We're in for some good eating tonight, folks. I want to thank you so much for tuning in to today's episode. Thank you, Antonio, for that demonstration. And as always, folks, until next time, good luck and good fishing. Here is we've left the skin on. Which skin, is skin and scales. Skin and scales. If you take the scales off, then you get your skin stuck to your grill, which is a problem. 